Hi crafty peeps, it's Deb here from Creative Life and so today we're going to do um, another card and we're going to use one of the regular cards um, in your Cardology box kit and um, so what I want to do is um, go ahead and walk you through. I cut out some things already uh, for this card um, but I, you know, I changed my mind <laughs> so <laughs> may not be uh, what I'd planned so because um, I always change it around so anyway um, so this card here I believe this one measures again at um, four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths so um, so I went ahead and cut a, a paper a design paper from your kit which is the Kaiser Craft uh, ooh la la collection set that we're using this month. So I cut this down to four and three quarters by uh, six and three quarters, I believe. So um, that's what I cut it down to. Maybe, yeah. Okay. So, um, so that's the size it should be. Okay. Then I decided just a minute ago <laughs> to go ahead and use, um, some of this, um, behind here too. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, um, a cup or uh, a sheet of this. And I think what I might do is go ahead and cut it here. Um, I don't want to use this part. I want to use kind of like this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this at, um, let's see, let me go ahead and cut this down here. I'm going to cut that off. So I think what I want to do is cut this at, um, let's see, that was four and three quarters. So I think I want to cut it down at four and a half. Okay, I'm going to cut it down at four and a half by, and I think this was at four, okay, so four and a half, and this was at six and seven eighths, so I think I'm going to cut this down at um, six and a quarter, okay, let's do that, so six and a quarter. Okay, so it'll give it a little bit of a border like that. And then this will go on top of that. Okay, now these are die cuts that I cut out earlier. And the die set that I used for that, um, I'll... Okay, so here it is. So that's the die set that I used for those two little tags. Um, and it is the decorative labels 25, 28. So that's the one that I used. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out two of these. And um, I'm just going to put them together like that. Okay, and that's going to sit right there on top. Okay, so we can go ahead and ink our pages, our papers. So, and then I think we're going to be using a few little cut up, cut up uh, from the um, set. We're going to use um, some of the little ephemera that's in your, uh, that you receive in your cardology box. I'm not sure which ones I'll be using yet. Um, and then I have um, some little, um, pearls that I've got in my stash and we'll be using a couple of those maybe and then of course uh, we'll be using some flowers okay and then um, also one of your six by six sheets which is white and it has like the little specks on it we're going to be using that too okay so we're going to go ahead and get started on inking our pages here our mats. Ok, 
Okay. So this is the second card I'm doing today. And um, I did a video earlier showing you a different card. And I was on a roll, so I thought, oh, I might as well go ahead and get another one done. Um, the work week starts tomorrow, so I want to try to get as many done as I can for you guys. So, and I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue. You can find the art glitter glue and all of um, most of the um, uh, items that I use on Tamara's shop at www.countrycraftcreations.com Okay, she has a wonderful shop wide variety of papers from Graphic 45 in Prima to Kaiser Craft, Bow Bunny, Authentique and the other neat thing is that we always have um, I'm a little crooked here. We always have free tutorials for everybody, so um, that is the nice thing about our group, is that we um, we provide some inspiration to everyone, and we also do online crops, which, by the way, we will be giving doing an online crop um, on New Year's Eve. So. Be sure to sign up to the group on Facebook at Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations so you can go ahead and um, join in the fun for the online crop to start the new year off. Yay! So that'll be a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and ink the second sheet here, second mat. And boxes will be going out this week. So, for the cardology box. So, we're going to go ahead and stick that right here. Okay. Let's see, I want a little bit more glue on the ends here. Okay. Okay, and that just smooths right out. Alrighty, and then uh, for this we're just going to go ahead and ink these up. I know that we are going to have lots of fun this next year doing a lot of online face on the Facebook we do um, a lot of different things I know Kim does some of her the craftology box she does a lot of um, or she doesn't do a lot but she does she does do a couple of the um, uh, tutorials on the Facebook group for her cardology box so you'll always want to stay tuned and read the messages um, because her and Tamara will be doing uh, all those so okay so you'll just go ahead and put that all together like that and of course I forgot to do something so um, you know once you get this glue down it doesn't come up right and I forgot to add something on here that I want to add so now we're gonna play it by ear <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to add some of this beautiful um, 
seam binding here. I want to add that on top of there. Okay, so I think what I might do is go ahead and I'm going to wrap it around since I'm going to cover the inside of my um, inside of the card anyway. So we're going to go ahead and just wrap that just like that. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And that's one thing about crafting. If you forget something, you can always, you know, fix it or do, you know, go ahead and um, add to it or um, do something different. So we're going to go ahead and add it like that because, and even though it's going to go all the way the inside of this card, okay, um, I'm going to add a mat to the inside of this card so that'll be covered up okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of this tape here okay and then just put this down okay and go ahead and lay that down there. And I'll lay that there like that. Okay, just like that. Okay, so um, then I'm going to go ahead and lay this on top like this. And for these little holes here, I'm going to use some of my. Um, some of my little uh, pearls right here so okay so we're gonna go ahead and lay that like that okay and I think I might go ahead and pop that up a little bit so you'll want to go ahead and get out your three um, your adhesive your foam adhesive or whatever you use so Okay. If I can get there we go. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and lay that right there. Like that. Okay. Okay, and then, um, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and cut out a three by three right in through here. So, and I'm just going to tuck that right under here to make another layer. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just loving this paper. We have, and it has so much that you can work with in the cut aparts and um, the images on here are just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that right there. And then I wanna go ahead and cut this right there. Okay. And I'm just going to tuck this. I think I'm going to cut it just a little shorter. Yep, and we're going to cut it just a tad shorter. Okay. So I'm going to cut it right underneath the clock there. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and ink that up. I'm going to go ahead and tuck that right under here. I'm going to lift still a little bit too long, but I want to lift that up. So I'm going to lift this up a little bit here. Tuck the, this under there. Okay. 
guess I could cut it down some. So this just a second. So okay, I guess you don't need it three by three. We will do it. Let's see how that works. That should work, huh? So just like that. There we go. So that is what you want. Um, let me go ahead and measure that out for you guys real quick. I'm thinking it's two and a half by two and a half. Yeah, it's about two and a half by two and a half, guys. So, okay, and you don't have to ink. This is going under there, so no one's really going to see that. But if you wanted to, you could ink that up. Okay, so just like that. So we're just going to go ahead and put that down. I'm going to go ahead and just put some glue right under here. And that's okay if you want some of your, you can get your fingernail or, you know, again, just rough up the ends of that paper right there. Just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So there we go. Okay, so there's that part. And then um, I wanted to go ahead and do like a really cute border up here, I think. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get my punch. And we're just going to go straight across here. You know, when you when I planned all this out, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. But then um, I started working. Now I'm like, ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe I don't want this on here. There we go. So we're not going to use that. So we're just going to leave that like that. And then um, I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab um, some butterflies from here.
Um, there we go. So there's you got we've got three butterflies on there. Okay. And then I'm gonna stick this little flower right here. I'm trying not to use all my flowers. I don't have a whole bunch left. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm trying not to use them all. It's really hard when you like flowers. <laughs> So, okay, so there we go. And I think um, what I might do is I might go ahead and on the inside here, we'll go ahead and cover this. And um, for the inside cover, I think we're going to go ahead and use, um, we'll go ahead and use this since we put this on the, in, on the outside. And we're going to go ahead and cut this at, I think we cut it at what, four and, um, four and three quarters was it? I think that's what we did. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. Yeah, four and three quarters by six and three quarters, or by six, yeah, six and three quarters. So, I'll just go ahead and move all of this stuff out of the way again. So, four and three quarters by six. Now, it had to be, let's see here, it had to be by six and a quarter, right? I think that's what it was. And then you can add your sentiment in there or um, whatever you'd like. You can add your sentiment in here and we're done. So this is your third card from the Cardology box. I hope you guys like it. Um, super cute paper. And I'm really loving the vintage look that you get with these. So hope you guys try it. <laughs> so thumbs up <laughs> anyway thanks for joining me today and i will talk to you guys later bye <laughs>